Like a bribe in the land. Just to delete in the fan. Credit cards in the scams. Guys, welcome back again. It's your boy right here, Hashim, bringing you to you guys again another great video. As I said in my past video, which was on Marisa Month, and I said, Oh, I'm gonna bring you guys 10 facts about Filipino. Yeah, it's gonna come up, and this is it right here, right? So, in this 10 facts about Filipino, we definitely want to take a look at it, and I didn't really look at it that much. I just open it and look at it a little bit and then roll that and actually cut cut the video and send it to that particular video that I was releasing it so let's get this one rolling for you guys and thank you guys for watching again um, big shout out to one of my great Filipino subscriber name happy cat is a great guy and um, let's get this rolling and see how it goes guys because i like to know about the filipino and i definitely i do work with a filipino guy his name is manolo yeah that's why we call him manolo and sometimes i actually call him like pacquiao now yeah because i'm like yo since um when was it pacquiao last fight i start calling him i said no nah, i'm gonna call you pacquiao i don't call you Mania, uh, manolo no more so let's get this rolling guys let's see because i told him i said whenever he's going vacation i might one day go with him down to the filipino and i'll bring my cameras and everything take pictures and see how filipino look and um post that into this channel so let's get this rolling guys and thank you guys for watching and let's see the 10 facts about filipino 10 facts about filipino begins now peace welcome to top 10 archive the islands are a beautiful tropical paradise and vacation top path. 10 archive and in this video we're going to dive into its beautiful terrain and look at the 10 as you can see that was just like a traditional dress and like i said i'm a traditional guy i like traditional you should wow. know nice about the philippines nice number 10 beach the text capital here. of the world okay in wow. 1995 they know that it was called text was capital introduced of the, the world. filipinos as a promotional gimmick but soon proved to be a useful substitute for telephone calls at first only the elderly and hearing impaired caught on since the service was free with subscription, it wasn't long before the public enrolled as they saw a way to exploit the system to communicate freely without being charged. When businesses began to catch on and saw how they were losing money, users began getting charged one peso for every message sent. Yeah. At the time, this equated to less than half a penny in United States currency. Since SMSs That's proved to still be more economically affordable, the trend continued to grow and spread. According to 2009 statistics, about 80% of the Philippines population was subscribed to the service, and on average, over 1.39 billion messages were being sent daily. Ooh. The country became known as the unofficial text capital of the world, a title it maintained up until the early 2000s. Number I'll tell nine, the flag. That. The flag of the Philippines has an he almost gave me that flag behind it, commonly referred to as the. But I, I'll ask him. I said, Manolo, I need the Filipino flag. The royal blue when I get it, I'll put that flag behind me when I'm doing my Filipino videos. Another. The golden sun with eight rays that protrude from its center symbolize the country's first group of provinces which rebelled against Spain in 1896, sparking the Philippine Revolution. The three golden stars represent the three main islands, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. If okay. the red band is displayed above the blue when hoisted, this indicates that the nation is in a state of war. Wow. Number eight. That's inventions. really good to know. Karaoke is a skillful pastime in which competitors and the or right amateur the singers sing along with recorded music using a handheld microphone. Lyrics are displayed on a screen along with changing colors and other visuals to help guide the singer along. Mm -hmm. To this day, a large number of Filipinos have this in common as a favorite pastime. Music from the 1960s from such artists as The Beatles and Frank Sinatra have become favorites in the early days of karaoke. A Filipino named Roberto del Rosario is credited with its invention in 1975. 
but this has been disputed by a Japanese musician named Daisuke Inoue with little to come of the matter. Whoa. Number seven, biggest shoes. The city of Marikina can be found on the island this of Luzon. These stars look beautiful, man. This somewhat touristy destination was given the title Shoe Capital of the Philippines. I definitely gonna go in that particular Marikina store. producer for the country. Sources estimate that around 70% of Filipino shoe production takes place here. The local shoe museum houses a wide assortment of dress and casual variants. Part of the famous shoe collection of former First Lady Imelda Marcos is exhibited as well, along with others belonging to celebrities and world leaders. What may strike you as most interesting about the town of Marikina is that it is where the largest pair of wingtip shoes is on public display. They each measure 5.29 meters long or 17.3 feet and 1.83 meters or 6 feet tall. Number six. Philippine cuisine. Wow. Adobo is arguably the That's most the good. popular of all Filipino dishes. Unofficially, it is considered uh, yeah. by many to be a meal That's... that best represents the country. It is made by braising either pork or chicken in a sauce made out of pantry oh, goods man. that include vinegar, I tell garlic, about this. cooking oil, bay leaf, soy sauce, and peppercorns. This is generally served as a main course and most often on festive occasions or per request. When Spaniards colonized the Philippines in the late 16th and up through the 17th century, they encountered a cooking process which involved making stew out of vinegar. The oh. original term for it has been lost to history, but it is because of this that they wow. began calling it adobo, the Spanish word for when seasoning I hate that so or bad. Marinade. There are numerous variants to this simple dish and often change by the season. Cider vinegar is enjoyed primarily during the end of so summer beautiful. and up through the winter months while brown sugar-coated adobo is a more common meal around Christmas time. Number five, crucifixion. I will come down there at Christmas time, the man. The Philippines currently <laughs> rank third as the most Catholic populated country, which consists of roughly 85% wow. of the population. Holy Week is celebrated by multitudes each year, but in a much more unusual way than most others are used to. In it's order really to good to cleanse know themselves Third even more country to be the of confession most or Catholic for other religious reasons, world. penitents will whip themselves over the back or have someone else do it for them until bloody. This is done to reenact the same suffering Jesus endured before meeting the end of his earthly life. That is really Filipinos good. Not only Jesus Christ went through that, to but as you can see Filipino doing that. Nails are driven through the participants' hands and feet and they are mounted onto a cross, but then let down. Such an uncommon practice has attracted tourists because of its uniqueness. Some brave men even go as far as doing it year after year. Number four, the Banaue Rice Terraces. The Banaue Rice Terraces are 2,000 year old ridges carved into the mountains of Ifugao That's... in the Philippines. They are thought to have been made primarily by hand by ancestors of the indigenous people. This creation is often referred to as the Filipino eighth wonder of the world. Ooh. Rice is grown in abundance here, even though it no longer has the appeal to farmers it once did. At an altitude of approximately 1500 meters or 4900 feet above sea level. Number three, tradition. Whenever I get a chance to go there, I definitely want to see that. And horrifying monsters to come out of Filipino mythology is the Batruculan. This creature from the bowels of hell is said to impregnate a virgin and then come later to the home she resides at, mm -hmm. depending if she's married or not, and murder her. He will proceed to cut open the abdomen and eat the fetus. As legend has it, to keep ah. the mother and child out of harm's way, you must swing a butterfly knife over the woman's stomach while she is in labor. With this in mind, it makes you wonder what is truly more scary. Yeah. An evil demon eating a baby before birth? Or seeing someone dangling a razor-sharp knife over someone about to give birth? Just remember, every country has its share of strange stories. Well, obviously and this is not up. an accurate portrayal of Filipino life. In fact, this practice is so uncommon and more for the fun of a good traumatizing story that it is not even heard of by many Filipinos. Number two, famous Filipinos. Tim Tebow is likely the most well-known person to be born in the Philippines. 
His parents met at the University of Florida in the late 1960s and were married in 1971. Four years later, the family moved to the Philippines to work as Baptist missionaries and built a ministry. Tim's wife, Pamela, discovered she was pregnant while still recovering from a coma induced by oh. anemic dysentery. The fetus suffered a severe placental abruption limiting the chances become a of star. survival. Because the mother was suffering. Stillbirth and advised an abortion, which was turned down by his parents because of their no, religious beliefs. don't do it. Thank you. On August Thank 14th, you. 1987, Tebow was brought into the world alive and, and well in the town of... Hold Maryland. it there. Hold it there, guys. Hold it there. This is the reason, people, you don't really need to do abortion. Now, if there was an abortion, he wouldn't be a star. Come on. That was absolutely the right thing they did by the traditional belief. You don't need to do abortion. Let it be. Let's go on, guys. Second largest Filipino city. He went on to have an exemplary professional football career. Thank you. Don't in the do States, the abortion. And has played on teams such as the New England Big Patriots, teams in the world. Broncos and New York Jets. Here you go. Other famous Filipinos include professional boxer. Hey, that's my and boy right there. Yeah. Dominic Panganaban. Number one, down with Pepsi. When Pepsi Cola ran its number fever promotion in 1992. They offered 1 million Filipino pesos to whoever found the lucky number 349 under their bottle cap. Due uh -huh. to what they called a computer glitch, the number was mass produced, which equated to thousands of winners. When the company found they were unable to pay their dues, okay. some outraged locals rioted and others even bombed Pepsi's Filipino bottling plant. Reports state that a woman and her child were even killed by a grenade intended to cause damage to a Pepsi truck. Wow. Reports in the Philippines have continually turned down requests for Pepsi to pay in full what some claim is owed to the people. Hmm. For now, the matter is resolved, but Pepsi's reputation remains tarnished. Like these That's obvious there. How could you do that? You have to pay the people if they whoever wins. That's why when you lottery is play, you definitely need at least one winner. This is the reason why you definitely need one winner because of what just happened down there. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you do want to see more of the Filipino stuff in this channel, I'm gonna do my best to bring you guys more and more. And if you do have any video, but again, I'm gonna talk to Manola. Hey, I need that Filipino flag. Well, I'll get it myself. And put that flag behind me when I'm running my Filipino programs. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being part of my YouTube channel. And thank you, Happy Cat, because I know Happy Cat is waiting. He's gonna be my first guy on Twitter. If you wanna know Happy Cat, he's gonna be on Twitter. Be the first person to share this video when I actually share this on Twitter. And thank you guys. If you do wanna catch me up, you could send me a message on Twitter or you could leave a comment down in the comment section and i'll definitely do my best to reach out to whatever you're saying down there and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video let's do it guys peace